Welcome to StartCooking.com. I'm Kathy Maester. Apple Crisp is a wonderful dessert made by peeling, coring, and slicing apples, topping them with a flour, butter, and sugar combination, and then baking it in the oven. At the end of this video, there'll be a list of the ingredients and equipment needed to make this recipe. There are hundreds of varieties of apples. Buy six large or eight medium apples that are both tart and crisp, like Brayburn's, Granny Smith's, or Macintosh. There are usually signs above the apples telling you if they're good for baking. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Start by making the crumble topping. Put in a large bowl, one cup of flour, one cup of sugar, a half a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Cut up 10 tablespoons of butter into small pieces and add them to the bowl. Using two kitchen knives, one in each hand, start slicing everything together. You could use a pastry blender, but two knives work just as well. This should end up looking crumbly, not mushed all together into a solid mass. Set this bowl aside while you prepare the apples. Be sure to wash the apples. Peel all the apples with a vegetable peeler. A paring knife would work, but not as well, as you would end up peeling away too much of the apple. There are several ways to remove the core. You could cut around the core by just making four vertical cuts with a knife. Or you could cut the apple in half, and then with a paring knife, cut out the center and the base of the core. Never hold the apple in your hand if you do it this way. If the knife slipped, you'd end up cutting your palm. A melon baller also works well in scooping out the core on each apple half. An official apple corer looks like a metal tube. You slide this into the whole apple and give it a twist and the whole core comes out at once. Again, be sure to do this with the apple on the cutting board and not in your hand. Cut each apple in half, then quarters, then eighths. Spread the pieces all out on an unbuttered baking dish. Sprinkle on the crumble topping. Tap the dish on the counter a few times to let the topping settle. Place the dish on a baking sheet with sides and put it in your 375 degree oven. Bake it about 50 to 55 minutes. The top should be golden brown and the apples tender and juicy and bubbling. Stick a fork into one of the apples to make sure they're tender. You can serve apple crisp hot from the oven with a dollop of whipped cream or ice cream. Enjoy! Now for the equipment list. You'll need a large bowl, a 10-inch baking dish or pie dish, a large sharp knife, a paring knife, two kitchen knives, measuring cups, a cutting board, a vegetable peeler, and a baking sheet with sides. Optional equipment includes an apple core, a pastry blender, and a melon baller. For the ingredients, you'll need apples, flour, sugar, salt, ground cinnamon, ground nutmeg, butter, and whipped cream or vanilla ice cream. 